Howdy, howdy, y'all. Today, uh, let's see, we're gonna just do some cross puzzles. So let's get into it. Okay. Ah, uh, right, actually. Huh. Um, I'm just gonna check what happens if I have this one. And, yeah, that's gonna break the three, so. At least, no, this isn't a mine. Um, if I have a mine in either of these two squares, it's going to cause the same issue because I have to have one mine here, which means I have a mine here, so I get none of these three. Therefore, neither of those two are mines. Only one of these two can be mine, so this has to be a mine, which means also for the one, same kind of thing is going to go over there. Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah, a cross I would not say is one of my strong suits as a person, but we'll see how this goes. Hmm. Okay. Um, if I only have one mine, if I have neither of these two as mines, then both of these have to be mines, which is just going to imply this shape, and that's completely fine. If I have a mine here, then I'm not actually sure where to go with that thinking about it. Let's see. So, if I have a mine up here, then I'm going to get this kind of pattern. And does this tell me anything? <clears throat> Not really, actually. Let's check if I have a mine over here or something. That's going to do this. Which, that actually does break. So I can't have a mine here. Ah. Uh... What about a mine here? Does that do anything for me? Let's see. So, I can only have one mine down here, then one in the, one of these two, so that one can't be a mine. I need to also have a mine here. If, let's see. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where to actually go with any of this. Um, only one of these three can be a mine, right? Because if one of these two is a mine, then this is a mine, so that's not a mine. And if this one is a mine, then I get this kind of parent, which means actually, let's see, both of these have to be mines, which also means that I can't have these, oh, uh, let's see, it means I can't have this one as a mine, because then I'd be forced into having that one as a mine as well, which is going to give me the one solved. Um, okay. Other than that, let's see, what if I have a mine down here, then I'm going to get both of these as mines. If I don't have a mine here, then I get that as a mine. Although, okay, that's not actually going to really take me much of anywhere, looking at it. If I have a mine here now, I'm going to get both of these. And this kind of pattern here, which should be fine. If I have a mine, let's see here um, what's gonna happen then that's going to force also a mine to be here and here which is fine if I I'm just trying to find a pattern that breaks but I'm a yeah I'm a bit out of touch with this game because I haven't played it all that recently let's see if I have a mine here then uh, where else could I have mines? I don't think this one actually tells me much of anything looking at it. And if I have one here, I get both of those. All of this marked off and that. If I have this, then I'm going to... That breaks, okay. So this one can't be a mine. Which gives me a mine here as well. And what that means is that I can't be missing a mine here because then both of those would have to be mines and that would break so 
Get one mine there. <clears throat> yeah, clearly cross. I'm not great at considering this is only seven by seven, and I'm still struggling to find a lot of the logic. Although at this point, this one is almost entirely solved. There we go. Okay. Oops. Let's see. Both of those are solved now. Um. Hmm. This five, yeah, has just been completely solved. Okay. Uh, where do I go from here? For this three, is there any way for me to break that? I don't really know if there actually is thinking about it. At least in, I don't see an immediately obvious way to break it. Um, let's see. If I have a mine here, then... That doesn't do much of anything for me. If I have a mine down here, I also don't have a mine in either of these, which isn't going to do much. If I have a mine up here, then, let's see. I get a mine here as well. Both of those are mines, and that seems completely fine. If I have a mine here, get a second one there. And, yeah, everything seems normal. Mine up here is just going to apply one of these two as a mine. Hmm. Where do I actually go from here? That's a good question. If I have a mine here, that breaks the two. So, oh, it doesn't because the two already has one in it. Whoops. Let's just give that the old restart. And we are back to where I started. Um, hmm. If I have a mine here, that's going to break the this too, but actually break it. So, there's that. Hmm. If I have a mine here, neither of these are mines, which breaks. So I can't have one there, which gives me a mine there. Uh, at least one of these two has to be a mine, so I can't have a mine up here, which is going to give me that square, which will solve the one. I can get the three solved, and from here, I can get a good portion of stuff solved, I think. At least I hope. Um, let's see. If I have a mine here, then both of these have to be mines, which breaks. Therefore, I can't have a mine here. I need to have one here instead. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, one of these two has to be a mine, because well, only one of these two can be a mine. And one in this group and one in this group have to be a mine. Let's see. If... If I have a mine here, that's going to blank out both of those squares, so I can't have one here, which is going to give me pretty much, I guess, the rest of this solved, it looks like. Yep, there we go, and now we'll do one more of these, and then I will spend some time in 8x8s. Okay. At least currently, this one seems to be off to a relatively fine start. Uh, only one of these two squares can be a mine, so this one has to be a mine, and for the two, yeah, has to now be in one of these two because of the three below it. Let's see. Um, if both of, actually no, both of those can't be mines, only one of them can because the two already has a uh, mine marked. Hmm. Let's see. Um, if I have a mine up here, then that's going to force the 4 to look like this. And that's going to force all of these to be mines, which breaks uh, this 4 right here. Therefore, I can't have one here. And from that, let's see. Um, hmm. If, 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 if I have a mine here, that's going to force this, which fills out the two, and that's going to cause that to happen. If I instead have a mine here, this should cause the same kind of thing, but 
it sh it does break the five. So I can't have a mine here, which means I must have one there instead. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um. Okay. Okay. If I'm missing a mine here, then I'm going to get. Uh, what am I going to get? Nothing that really actually seems to break. Thinking about it, I'm trying to find a way to finagle this into breaking something, but I don't seem to be able to. At least at the moment, I actually do anything like that. Unless I'm just completely missing something, which I mean I definitely am, but. I don't know, that's the correct area to be looking for it in. Um, okay. Hmm. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think I really do just need to find a square that completely breaks this. Which, I'm not really great at spotting in, uh, cross puzzles all that much. Um, okay. Let's see, if I do this, that's going to force this kind of pattern here, which should be fine. If I have a mine here, that's going to make all of these squares mines. So let's see, what if I have uh, either one of these as missing a mine? Then both of these have to be mines, which is going to break the four. So, both of these squares have mines, which, okay, I misclicked, so we're going to have to start from the top. Um, let's see, from here I can probably get, no, oh, I cannot get that one yet. I'm just trying to remember what steps I actually took. Um, okay, I need to have a mine here because none of these can be mines, and then from there, I can't get that still? Yeah, no, this is going to be... Something that kills me, just because I high key don't, do not remember what can and can't be a mine. Uh, all of these have to be mines. That's going to give me that. Here we go. We are, I think, back. Yeah, this looks like what I left at, or what I messed up at. Okay. So, let's see. If I have a mine here... That's going to imply a mine here as well, which is going to imply a mine there for the four up here. And that's going to get this pattern. If I instead have a mine here, I don't have a mine here, so I get... Uh, let's see. Then I have no mine here, so I'm going to get this kind of pattern, which means uh, all of those are forced. And now I know it's the yellow one, which is convenient because that's the one I had done more about in. And from there, I think this actually might be enough to, yeah, solve this puzzle. So let's move on to a couple 8 by 8s Definitely not going to get through 10 of them. Considering this one's going to probably be shorter just because I personally don't enjoy this variant as much and don't really feel like playing all that many of them at the moment. So yeah, we will see where this goes. Uh, if I have one here, that's going to overfill the 2. So instead, we're just going to make that not a mine. Okay, um, let's see, from here, what else can I logically do? That is the question. At the time, yeah, oh yeah, at the time of recording this, Minesweeper Variance 2 is about to come out, and, or, uh, I guess, actually a little over a week thinking about it, but yeah, either way, I'll probably be pushing these videos back some when I'm posting that, but we will see. Uh, yeah. Still have not found what I'm trying to find, which is literally any way for me to move on with this puzzle. Um, if I do something like this, that... Well, it breaks this too, so I actually can't have one up here, so I get this one instead. Which is going to give me a lot of... Okay, not that. So uh, clearly I'd messed up somewhere because I should not have been able to get that 5 at all, thinking about it. Uh, but I can get all of this. Okay, let's see. 
I'm not going to mark the five yet because the only reason I mark these two is from purely miscounting how many mines were around it. Although there is, apparently there is some logical way to determine this one can't be a mine. Although I don't currently know what it is. Um, let's see. If I am missing a, or, uh, let's see, if I have a mine here, then I get this pattern here, which is going to also give me that. And from that, I get all of these have to be mines, and this one can't be a mine. Let's see, if both of these are mines, what does that tell me? Um, either way, then, let's see. I can only have one of these three being a mine. If it's this one, that's going to break this four, I believe. No, it will not. Just kidding. Okay. If I have a mine here, what does that tell me? Um, in that case, let's actually try this. If I don't have a mine here, both of these are mines. And also, um, okay, no, I don't actually see anything from that. Oh, this two already has a mine on it. I don't really know what I'm actually that concerned about. If I'm missing a mine here, then... Both of these are mines, which is going to give me this kind of pattern. And from this, I can see that I just already broke the four. So actually, this one here can't be a mine. And uh, additionally, this one can't be a mine because then both these squares would be out. Okay. Uh, that's going to give me both of those are mines. Um, hmm. Where do I want to go from here, actually? If I have this one as a mine, then this one has to be mine, which is going to break the five. Therefore, this one can't be a mine. So, that's going to let me get this. Um, let's see. If I'm missing a mine here, then both of these have to be mines, which is going to break this two. So that one must be a mine, so this one can't be a mine, which is going to give me both of those. And that's going to give me, uh, this five up here is completely done, so is that. I need both of these filled. And from here I'm pretty much done with the puzzle. There we go. And we're going to just do one more of these. Just because I feel like I need to do more than one, but I don't want to do all that many more than one. Uh, eight by eights for now, because let's not get a little crazy, let's not get crazy with it. Hmm. Um, okay. Man, I'm actually not even sure where to start with this. Be honest. Yeah, I just, I'm not even super sure of what I can start with on this. Um, if I have a mine here, then I get one mine and these two, so I have... These three have to be mines. None of these are mines. And from this, one of these two has to be mine, so this one cannot be a mine. Uh, both of these are mines. Does this get me anywhere? I don't know. Let's see, what happens if that one's not mine? Both of these are mines. Uh, none of this is a mine. All three of these are mines. One of those two is a mine, so this one can't be a mine. The four is also solved, which is going to give me that. Okay. Both of these then have to be mines. Um, I don't particularly, uh, particularly know where I can go from here. What if I have just a mine here? Then that implies only one of these two is a mine, which means this one's a mine, and both of these are mines. Okay, uh, does that get me anywhere? Well, then both of these are mines, which is going to make this a mine as well. Um, let's see. Then, what else can I do with this, though? <laughs> Oh boy. 
What if I just have myself a mine over here? Then that doesn't seem to get me anywhere. Um, if I'm missing a mine here, both of these are mines. Which means also I have this four solved. And, um, then I get this. Which is going to give me this kind of pattern here. What if I just have a mine down here? Does that do anything for me? Um, let's see. That's a good question. Does this do anything at all for me or not? Because uh, if, if I have a mine here, then um, I have a couple options. The first one is that I have a mine here, in which case I'm going to get both of all of this as mines. And this, and option two is that this one here is a mine instead. In which case, um, let's see. If I have a... Oh, I'm actually not sure where to go with this one either. Great. That doesn't seem to be the correct way to go about this. Instead, we're going to see what happens if... No, that's not going to help. Um, I only have five spots in this area if I'm missing a mine here does that do anything um it's a good question I at least get all of this but this is pretty standard information I get from a lot of the things I've been trying I guess the other four is solved as well although that's not super groundbreaking if I have a mine here then I'm gonna get all of this having to be mines, um, let's see, then I get this shape here, which actually makes me think maybe this one will give me some useful information, because I now get this kind of pattern here, which breaks the four, okay, so this one has to be a mine, um, which doesn't seem to tell me all that much, at least at first glance, if I have now, let's see, if I have a mine here, what does that do for me? That's going to break the four, so this one can't be a mine, which tells me nothing on its own, really. Uh, now I know I have another four here. Um, let's see, if I get a mine missing here that's not going to do much hmm um if i'm missing a mine here let's see that's going to break the three because actually only one of these two can be a mine so i can't be um let's see what can i why did that why did that oh yeah if i'm missing a mine here specifically then i get a mine here because of the four but I also am going to get, let's see, a mine here. So I can't have this one not be a mine. Okay. Um, hmm. So then, if I have a mine here, I don't think this is actually going to... Ah, uh, this might break, because neither of these can be a mine. Therefore, this one isn't a mine. Which is going to give me some actual information for once and yeah this is, yeah here we go we're actually getting somewhere where I can just mindlessly click locations um yeah that one's completely solved now that five solved and yeah I, I guess I really just struggle to find the initial break break-ins for larger numbered puzzles at least of cross, which doesn't surprise me considering how little I've played of larger variants. And out of them, at least for me, cross is one of the more complicated ones to wrap my head around. Let's see, I have three mines left. Um, hmm. One mine, uh, if I have a mine here, this might... That works fine. If I have a mine here, that breaks, so I can't have one here. 
which means I get one mine here and one mine here, so I can't have one up there, and there we go. Uh, and yeah, actually, I didn't expect it to take me this long to solve another one, but yeah, this is this seems like about as good a stopping point as any, so I'll see y'all next time with a different variant.